So with Donald Trump's takeover of the Republican Party complete, installing his daughter, Lara Trump, as the head of the RNC, I mean, the Republican Party is made in the image of Donald Trump. So it is incompetent. It is going bankrupt. It is corrupt. And it's just so very weird. I mean, Take, for instance, what we've seen this week with MAGA Republican Christy Nome, the governor of South Dakota, who is out there, I don't know, selling stuff for a cosmetic dental facility in Texas. She's like doing infomercials. And then, of course, you've got the uh, rebuttal speech that was given. And, and it was just so bizarre by Alabama's junior senator, MAGA Republican Katie Britt, just doubling down on all of the lies and just making up despicable stuff. Look, we've got the Alien Super Show for you here, and they've abducted Thorgy Thor of RuPaul's Drag Race. You're going to love this. Let's have them break it down because I always want the perspective of like, what would aliens do if they saw this complete mess in our country and the world that's being created by MAGA? Take it away. Copy. Why can't we get better cameras than this? And some of us actually, we see, I know my audience and me too, we see that you're protected, maybe even by the hand of God. Has that ever crossed your mind? Mr. President, do you believe that you're being guided by the master hand from Super Smash Brothers? God, this was such a random week. Gleep, you don't even have to ask. Fire up the alienator. Let's bring in Thorgy Thor from RuPaul's Drag Race onto this ship. Wait, hold on. Thorgy, welcome. You're an alien now and you're owning it. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start with the house's TikTok bill. I think that this is opening Pandora's box. And the last question I have, who's going to buy Twitter? You mean is TikTok. <laughs> How much did Donald Trump's opposition weigh in on you? 100%. I haven't spoken to Donald Trump you seen, the bill. You've seen what he said. These were my own conclusions. <laughs> These were my own dumb conclusions. I, I just feel like every time I look at Marjorie Taylor, I feel like she's wearing like some chastity thorn thing on her leg and she pulls it just to get the answers out <laughs> because she's so dark. Side. I'm, I'm just like, is she brilliant? And we don't know. Is this like a whole art piece that she's doing? Like long scale? Like she goes home and opens the door and all of a sudden she's just like, oh God, another good day. And then she puts on like old fairy tale theater with Shelley Duvall and she's actually a really lovely person. And it's really just like a Marina Abramovich uh, act. Uh, the long, that's how I see her. I'm like, you have to be a good person in some way, yes. but I, I don't get it. The crazy thing is that what you just said is not crazy crazier than what she believes about space lasers. <laughs> like, your conspiracy theory is more believable. Incredible performance artist, really. <laughs> She's the best. Is it because of Trump's uh, yeah, position? Who is this? <laughs> Nancy, it's like Wednesday Adams. Adams. It's not the role of government to ban apps from the App Store. Nowhere in our Constitution does it say that. Nowhere in the Constitution does it say that the App Store on Apple can <laughs> <laughs> The Founding Fathers wanted to protect the App Store. The Founding Fathers really came down hard on third-party developers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, Anne Hathaway. Away. This is not an attempt to ban TikTok. It's an attempt to make TikTok better. Tic tac toe. A winner. Oh, love it. I wanted her to go into full choreography, you know, tick, tack, tick, 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 tack, tick, tick, tack, tick, tack, tack, tack. Here come the TikTok dancers. And I'd like to thank my choreographer. We see you. We hear you. She's behind me, isn't she? And we stand. With you. <laughs> I think she has the loudest whisper. We see you. <laughs> Very Slytherin parcel tongue. Mr. President, uh. enough is enough. <laughs> Mr. President. So serious. So aggressive. Mr. President, get in your time machine and go help the sex trafficked woman whose horrific story I'm exploiting. Stop me from doing this. <laughs> yes, Stop Stop. Go back in time and tell me not this to do it. Like yeah. <laughs> Go back. This is too good. To be clear, the story that you relate is not something that's happened under the Biden administration. I very clearly said I spoke to a woman. It's who told a comprehension me about brain teaser. Traffic. So I didn't say uh, a teenager. It's called I context say clue, a Shannon. Woman, a, a grown woman. She spoke to a woman. <laughs> exactly. I say a woman. I clearly mean someone who's on over 21, right? You get that, yeah. right? Like I could never be talking about a woman. <laughs> a human woman. Uh, we were proud of Cinder Britt. Thought you did a great job. Best acting I've seen and, since the room. Uh, <laughs> I have 
Zero criticism. <laughs> Zero <of her> criticism. <laughs> I thought it was really outstanding. I'd give it two thumbs up, but that's too much wild gesticulation <laughs> for me. As someone who lacks the ability to make facial expressions, it felt like I was in IMAX 3D. <laughs> and he said we were proud. Yeah, we were proud of the way she exploited someone's traumatic yeah, story. Yeah, I actually believe that. We're good at that. We love that. We're all about it. <laughs> that was an honest sh- thing to say. Really nice to see her <laughs> stepping into my shoes. All right. Well, from creepy cross necklace lady to Fox and Friends gone wild. Tell me, how, how do y'all start y'all's day? Morning, we're streaming. Oh, oh, Tuesday's oh, account oh, 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 oh. Bronzer and cocaine. <laughs> Wake up, put on bronzer, cocaine. We're good for the day. Bronzer and cocaine. I know, I'm a senior in college. Here I am. Yeah, my two go-tos. Bronzer and cocaine. And She's hired. <laughs> 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 Ainsley, you served us well, but you can pack up your things and go. We've got yeah. <laughs> Michelle, this is your interview. <laughs> you nailed it. What, do you have any references? <laughs> cocaine can't be a reference, but it's yeah. cocaine! <laughs> also, I'm not gonna lie, that was me in drag. Sorry. I you know I just have to wow. just disclose all the information. And I did get the job. That's some story. She applies the bronzer before she does the line of coke. She she wants to look good before she gets hot. I've never heard yes, of it. I like him. He goes, wait, wait, wait. Way, whoa, 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 whoa. When I do cocaine, the bronzer always comes afterwards. How do you get the energy to put on the bronzer if you're not Exactly. Doing it? You know, it's so tiring to put on the bronzer unless you have a little kick. So I love the absurdity of this guy. I actually want to hang out with him, to be honest. Never heard it before. Right? That's crazy. And she admitted that. She's like, I would never admit it. I would hide that from my family and friends and until it becomes a debilitating problem. She admitted that. I've never used bronzer. Yes. But I've done a ton of coke. <laughs> They're all playing Never Have I Ever at this table. Yeah. <laughs> they don't call me Brian, the line killer, kill me for nothing. Okay, and there's not really like a smooth way to get into this next clip. It doesn't have anything to do with anything. It's just weird. Well, hi, I'm Christine Nome. I'm the governor of South Dakota and had the yeah. opportunity to come to Smile, Texas to fix my ah, teeth. Psycho which has music been when it shows up. For years, the team here gave me a smile that I can be proud of. The it's smile only Corey Lewandowski really could love. <laughs> I have needed to have an adjustment to my teeth from a biking accident. And God, they have been uh, Those HD close-up shots of, like, the nasal hair. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. unnecessary. Why did they go vertical with yeah, those? Yeah, there is something about the vertical mouth. It's a little... It's a little dentata. It's a little All right, from the before and after of her teeth to the aftermath of the her hearing. I don't know about that one, Glee. There is a difference between Trump and Biden. The difference is Joe Biden kept classified information at about... I forget how many, like nine different locations. His garage, his den, his office, upstairs, downstairs. That sounded like a Dr. Seuss poem. Three on the roof, two in the basement, one in the up and down and everywhere. Thorgy, where do you come down on jacketless Jim Jordan? Oh, what, is he too cool for school? Right? He's like a working man, you know? Got his sleeves rolled up. Performative. I want to see him raise his arms. I always feel like when you wear light colored, like there's probably pit stains. There's definitely pit stains. <laughs> yeah. Would it be better if he was like throwing it up his shoulder and Ooh. running around? Will we trust him more? <laughs> Yes. I would like it if he had a cape. A cape? Like, yeah, like... <laughs> Capelets are in. There's like nine different places. President Trump's uh, classified documents were kept at his home. Yeah, his we, home slash resort, resort yeah. with like thousands of people. <laughs> people coming. come every <laughs> day. No one is going to the Biden's house being like, I gotta check out this gold dining room. <laughs> I'm gonna have my wedding in the Biden garage. Can you look at how Donald Trump is being treated? He had documents in one location behind a locked door. Just imagining a Secret Service agent stationed in the bathroom. Some Someone's in here. <laughs> it's locked. Hello. Who had access to the rooms where the documents were kept? Trump employee I, you know, I don't know if it, a master key, but I mean, like, I could have went and got a master key feasibly at night. Anybody could. <laughs> Oh, I would have a field day interviewing this man. <laughs> Immediately, I could get anything out of this man. I love it. Did you ever think to yourself, why were there so many boxes at Mar-a-Lago? For me, I'm just thinking, ah, oh, the former president, he has a lot of stuff he likes to lug around with him. He likes boxes. <laughs> oh, he loves to, <laughs> loves to read. He's a real pack rat. This guy loves folders marked confidential. I don't know. I had no clue who those people were. And it was Trump's attorney and members of the FBI. They were wearing hats that said FBI, but normally that means female body inspector around Mar-a-Lago, <laughs> so I thought nothing of it. Who made the call where these boxes were kept? You know, the pine I hall have... in the, bo- in the well, ballroom? Pine, the pine hall was 
always guarded. Pine Hall you is a steel vault. <laughs> for Pine Hall. But, you know, definitely the lake room. The lake room! Anything above, goes in the lake room. Almost above Pine Hall. I mean, anybody could just go around the spiral staircase, turn left, and there it is. And I'm inviting anybody to try. <laughs> you would at least need a bobby pin to pick the lock, but yeah. He's like, Caitlin, how do you not get this? It's a sh- place, yeah. okay? It's not the Pentagon. I really love the idea of a heist movie, like a Soderbergh heist movie, but the whole movie is two minutes long because they just get someone's key and open the door immediately. Yeah. No, no, I got it. It's like that with one of the Oceans movies where there's just a room of lasers and he's just yeah. like, oh, here's the switch to turn off the lasers. <laughs> I brought my own key from home and it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's your favorite president. I have a question for you, America. Have you seen my wife? To my right is a recent photograph of her. If you or anyone you know has information on her current whereabouts, please contact the Mar-a-Lago concierge desk during normal business hours. Thank you. Hiya, thanks for tuning in. If you like the show, help us keep this spaceship going. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or drop a comment. We read them all. If you really like the show, subscribe to our Patreon where we share bonus content that didn't make it on this episode. Okay, gotta go. Thank you. Bye.